Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on frequency table statistics, including mean on a Casio FX83 GTX or 85 GTX. We have the frequency table here. It's the number of goals scored by a team in their games this year. And we need to use statistics mode on the calculator to find the summary statistics to record the following. Let's input the frequency table into the calculator. Press menu, and then you want to select two statistics. It may be a different number on your model of calculator. And then because we only have one variable, that is the number of goals scored, we want to select one for one variable. Now at the moment, the input that we have here on the calculator just has an X column, which will represent the number of goals we need a frequency column to be included on that which we can switch on on the calculator press shift and setup and then scroll down to statistics and then we want to turn the frequency on which is one you will now see that our table has a frequency column that we can fill in but we'll start by filling in the x column which are goals in this case we do all of those first so it's inputting zero, one, two, and three. The frequency column automatically populates with one in there, but we can go back and change those to the frequency that we have in the table. So let's go back and change those to six, 15, 11, and eight. Once we've inputted that, then press option. And then you can see here, option three is one variable calc. And then we should have a summary statistics page here that we can find the information that we need to answer the question. So first of all, we want to find the median number of goals scored. And we need to scroll down for this. So we'll scroll down a page and you can see here that we've got median MED of one. So the median is one. We also have quarter one and quarter three there as well, representing the lower quartile and the upper quartile respectively. The total number of games played, well, that is actually the sum of the frequency column that we have on our table here. Now you can add those up independently if you wish. Sometimes it is included in the question. So just look out for that. But if we're not sure, we can actually get it from the calculator. It is N, N, which equals 40 in this case. That is the number of values. Next, we want the total number of goals scored. Now, what you can do is multiply the goals in each row by the frequency. Quite often, you can do this in an extra column. So you could do zero multiplied by six, that's zero. One times 15, two times 11 is 22. Three times eight is 24. And then total up that column. However, the calculator will do that for us. That will give us the total number of goals scored. It's actually this second option, if we scroll back up, the second option here, the sum of x, sigma x, which equals 61. So that is summing up the number of goals scored across all of the games there, all 40 games, which is 61. And then lastly, we want the mean number of goals. That would in fact be that 61, which is the total number of goals, divided by n, the number of games, which was 40. However, the calculator has calculated that for us, and it is the top value here. You can see it represented by x with a line across the top. That is x bar, which represents the mean. And in this case, it's 1.525. So we've got all of the information that we need for our question here, just from the summary statistics page. If you want to return to calculate mode, then it's menu and then one for calculate. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on the calculator guide.